We're going to show you the reasons that you want to visit Crazy Horse Memorial in South Dakota. My name is Darren Thompson. I'm a self-taught Native American flute player. Thanks for joining us on another journey. Today, we're in South Dakota at Crazy Horse Memorial. If you're new to the channel, this is April and I'm Wayne. We do a video every Thursday. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. When you come here, watch the movie, take the time to go through the museum, learn the story. It's really impressive. Now, Mark Joukowsky, he's the youngest of the 10. He still runs his quarry, you guys. And these boys all started on this mountain when it was seven, eight years old. Mount Rushmore, they removed 144,000 ton of rock. To date, these guys are a little under 8 million tons. They still have one and a half to 2 million ton to go. When are they projected to finish? What they end up doing is like so many year plans, the five year plan is from the wrist all the way to the fingertips. The 10 year plan started last year, nine years. They say you should be able to come back. Everything from the bottom of the left arm to the top of the head should be done. So we're looking at flowing hair, both sides of the mountain, finishing off the left shoulder, bicep, tricep, and they're already making cuts on the forearm. They've been building this since 1948. It's still a work in progress, but it's massive. When Fort Job started, he had about that much more technology than Fred Flintstone. Anybody in the mining industry where they use this, this goes to a diamond wire saw. And this comes in a great big long roll and a big spool. If they want to make a, say a 40 foot cut, the length of the bus, they cut 80 foot of this off, they join it back together. Then it runs through this series of wheels for the cuts. And then at the end of that cut, there's this great big framework, a blue framework with wheels that power it. So basically, it's a bandsaw or a chainsaw. So it makes nice, smooth cuts. And then you see how smooth that face is up there? That's a really cool tool up there as well. Uh, it's called the supersonic torch. And when they fire that up, it runs on diesel fuel. That flame that comes out of there heats up to 3,800 degrees. So they fan that over any finished carving up there. It seals everything up. It's just as smooth as your two hands rubbing together. You get to take a rock from the actual carving. Got a piece of rock. There you go. This is the guy who wrote that book. What's the name of the book? This is a painting of Korzak. This hung in Catherine Rose Gallagher's living room for many years. When her family was faced with challenges or difficult decisions, she would point to the portrait of Korzak and remind her children of the old saying, the difficult we can do right away, the impossible will take a little longer. I think that this is amazing. Orchoff felt so moved to dedicate the rest of his life after serving in a world war to creating this memorial, especially after reading my book, these black hills are sacred. And I like his motto, never forget your dreams. The Pueblo people uh, led a revolt known to many as the Pueblo Revolt of 1680, where they sided with the Navajo, the Comanche, the Kiowa, the Apache, and the Hopi people to revolt against the Spanish after they killed one of their holy people and they tried to convert them to Catholicism and they were so upset that they drove them beyond this river known to this day as the Rio Grande River and even beyond that, deep into Mexico. So look all that up. But that happened on August 10th in 1680 and the instructions were, when you hear the song, then it's going to begin. We want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank you for living life.